It is Friday, the 5th of January. What the heck is going on this week? Well, first of all, the jobs report came out this morning. Jobs were stronger than expected. So back beginning of December, interest rates started really coming down once the jobs report showed that there was weakness in jobs. And now we have strength in jobs. So it's creating a lot of turmoil, which is what I've said. We're going to see a lot of turmoil. This morning's report was essentially saying, hey, Jobs aren't as bad as what we thought, and maybe the economy is doing pretty good, and that's causing interest rates to start moving back up. Then the ISM report comes out, and that's the basically manufacturing report having to do with how much goods and services are created uh, on a monthly basis. And that report had bad news in saying that there weren't as many goods and services created. And so the market doesn't know how to react. Uh, the uh, economic data is coming in all over the place. And so if you want a thorough update on what's going on with the economy and what that's going to mean to the housing market, what it's going to mean to mortgage rates, uh, what it's going to mean to the economy overall, join me next Wednesday. I'm doing a live broadcast on Wednesday, whatever day that is, Wednesday week from now. So that's uh, the 10th. Yeah, it is the 10th. Uh, Wednesday the 10th at 1 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, email me back or, or hit me up in comments and I, we can get you registered. Uh, bottom line is I'm going to give you a full update on what's going on, where we think things are going. Nobody can predict the future. What we can say is there's going to be a lot of volatility that is going to continue. Now, I also want to remind you that there's some really good opportunities in today's market, especially when it comes to second mortgages and tapping into the equity. So many people have been holding off because interest rates have gone up so much and now you've got a bunch of money that you owe in credit card debt, especially coming out of the holidays and you got that holiday debt hangover. And so if that's bothering you, reach out to me. Let me know and I can help look at options to help you consolidate your debt. And the final thing I'm seeing a lot of is people who are starting to say, John, I'm ready to make a move. I've been waiting. I've been wanting rates to come back down. They've come back down some and it's as good as I think it's going to get. And I'm just tired of the place that I'm in. And so just understand, first of all, if you're in that position, let's start talking soon. But secondly, if you're a first time home buyer looking to buy in today's market, you're going to have a whole lot more competition coming up because a lot more people are coming out right now and saying, I'm ready to start moving forward. But for those people who are current homeowners that are looking to buy something else, I want to share with you my amazing bridge loan product that I've got that essentially lets you get the equity out of your current home without having to sell it first. You can qualify for your next home without having to count the payment of your current home against you. And then you have six months to sell your current home without having to make a monthly payment on that on two houses. It's a really good program. So if you're thinking about making a move and upgrading or downsizing, let me know so I can talk you through this amazing program. All right, everybody, have an absolutely wonderful week. Hopefully we'll see you on Wednesday the 10th at one o'clock for my housing 2024 economic update. Uh, and we'll talk to you next Friday. All right, bye-bye.